What up, what it do, gang? It's your boy, Big Cook in the building, man. Welcome to Overreaction Mondays, where I will be overreacting to the game that I seen Sunday night, or Sunday afternoon, I should say. From now on, this is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to react right after the game. I'm going to wait till Mondays. And so, man, my opinion of what I seen yesterday, Kyle Shanahan, this is your fault. Okay, how come last year, and this game reminded me so much of last year's game when we lost to Minnesota Vikings. How come last year when Steve Wilkes gave up that big old touchdown to Jordan Addison before the uh, before halftime, you went out and ripped Steve Wilkes. You went out and ripped Steve Wilkes a new one and was quick to throw him under the bus. How come you can't throw Nick Sorensen under the bus? I don't care if you just hired Nick Sorensen. Under Steve Wilkes, we weren't giving up as many third downs as we given up this year. This year we're giving up over 50% convergence on third downs. Please explain that to me, okay? Last year under Steve Wilkes, we gave up about 40-some percent on the third down. That's still not good, but the defense was way better under Steve Wilkes, in my opinion. The only person that really played well on defense is Fred Warner. Fred Warner was the reason why we were in this game. He forced a fumble and got an interception. If not, we probably would have been blown out, okay? We probably would have got blown out and probably would have got embarrassed on the road to the Minnesota Vikings. And they don't even have their starting quarterback. They have Sam Darnold, a guy that you took under your wing and you felt like, oh, he's the next Steve Young. If Sam Darnold was the next Steve Young, how come you didn't keep him over Brock Purdy? Okay? Huh? How come you didn't keep him? How come you didn't uh, uh sign Sam Darnold to that big extension? Another thing, another person I want to cook. Brandon you okay? Brandon, I ain't going to lie. Brandon, you are one of my favorite players on the team. I love your game. But, man, you got to show up, man. You can't be crying and bitching and moaning all off season about, oh, are you going to stay? Are you going to go? Are you going to stay? Are you going to go? And then not show up when it's time for you to show up. You seen Justin Jefferson, he getting paid 30 plus million a year, he showed up. CeeDee Lamb getting paid 30 plus million a year, he showed up. You getting paid 30 plus million a year, you ain't even showing up. You know what I'm saying? So now it's a it's a fair question to ask. Did Dwayne and Ayuk fleece us? Did he get over on us? Should we have should just should we have just traded Brandon all along? Because is he really worth 30 plus million dollars? If he can't even if he can't even uh get the ball, you seen what Marvin Harrison did when he wasn't getting the ball? He went to Kyler Murray and said, I want the ball. Make let, let me get the ball. Brandon, I don't see that out of Brandon. Yeah, he's a playmaker, but he doesn't demand the ball. You got to demand that shit. You got to be willing to make plays. You got want to want the coach to put the ball in your hand, man. You got you got when you're a receiver, that's a part of being a receiver, man, is being a diva. Sometimes you got to force them to give you the ball, man. Another thing I want to talk about, offensive line played horrible. Offensive line played horrible. We allowed six sacks, and all the sacks weren't on um, the offensive line, some of those sacks were on Brock Purdy for holding the ball too long, but um, six sacks is, is unexcusable as an offensive line. That's horrible play, especially Trent Williams. We just gave you an extension, you know what I'm saying, to give up six sacks. I don't know if Trent gave up all the sacks. I know Trent probably gave up at least one or two of them things, and you're supposed to be an all-pro Hall of Fame and offensive tackle, bro. No excuses. Now, it's the second game of the season, so you got to be fair, but that's why I'm calling it Overreaction Monday because I'm going to cook your ass. You know what I'm saying? If I if I seen somebody, like, you will get cooked. You will get cooked. And there's no excuses why we damn near almost got blown out by Sam Darnold. So you telling me you guys practice against Sam Darnold every day. Know his tendencies. Know what he likes to do. And then you get in the game against Sam Darnold and you let him cook you. Okay? Like I said, the only one who showed up was fucking um, Fred Warner. The secondary played horrible. Secondary played horrible. Nick Sorensen, what type of coverages are you running out there? And that's why I said, Kyle Shanahan, I'm going to cook your ass. Because you were so quick to throw uh, Steve Wilkes under the bus, but you can't throw Nick Sorensen under the bus? Under Steve Wilkes, uh, Charveris Ward was a shutdown corner, made his first Pro Bowl. He was an all-pro under Steve Wilkes. But you put Nick Sorensen in there, and the secondary looks lost. And so you got to explain to me what's going on, Kyle Shanahan, because I, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I think it's you full of shit and... um. Uh, I don't think we're going to win a Super Bowl with you as long as you can't learn from your mistakes and start taking accountability, bruh, to the shit you're doing to this team, bruh. Like, for real. Like, Kyle Shanahan, you are the reason why we ain't won a Super Bowl yet. Yeah, you're the reason why you built us up, but you can't take anybody else's advice. Everything has to revolve around your scheme and your thing. You can never let, let Brock Purdy improvise. Let Brock Purdy do some of the things on his own, bruh. And I don't want to hear no excuses. No CMC. No, like, no, bruh. No. No excuse. You you got beat by a quarterback that was your backup quarterback last year. And so, yeah, we deserve to get cooked Monday morning. I see why people troll us and people cook us, bro, as a fan base. Because you got to be realistic. I'm not a delusional fan, bro. I call it down the line. That's what Big Cook do. Y'all know me. And I cook Kyle Shanahan. I, man, look, I even cook Brock Purdy. I'm not even going to cook Brock Purdy because he got sacked six times. And he played. He still had an efficient game. He still threw over, over 300 yards. So it ain't Brock Purdy's fault why we lost this game. I'm blaming 
the fucking defensive coordinator, Nick Sorensen, for playing horrible coverage, allowing Jeff Justin Jefferson to get behind us and burn us for a 90 some yard touchdown. That's what I'm blaming. This defensive quarter, Nick Sorensen, and I'm blaming Kyle Shanahan for going for it on fourth down in a close game. You don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. If it's like a, a, a shootout and, you know, y'all got to score, and yeah, you can go for it. But if it's a close game like that, no. Don't go for it. You need all your points, bro. I don't care what nobody's saying, bro. But Fortnite Faithful, let me know what y'all think and how y'all feel about the game. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, subscribe, whatever you're going to do, man. Big Cook Sports in the building. Let's get it. Bang, bang. Blah, blah, blah.